Okay, okay. Now we're three weeks in. This is our third lesson. Unsere dritte Stunde, Nummer drei. And I think we've seen this dialogue quite a few times. So I'm setting you all a little challenge. Eine Minute, Dialog, talk to people around you. You can have a think about it yourself. Your teachers can help you. Wir sind fantastisch jetzt. Sehr viel Deutsch, lots of German. Let's see if you can figure out which words come in these blanks. Ich gebe euch eine Minute. When you're ready, off you go. One minute. Oh, careful. Let's not. Oh, yeah, there we go. It's always, always like a little cheat sheet. For one second, it was revealed and then it disappears. Okay. And see if you can pronounce it out loud. Let's start the one minute timer. I can start it on my phone. Off we go. Okay, 45 seconds left, 45 Sekunden. Okay, 30 Sekunden, 30 seconds. Okay, 10 seconds, 10 seconds left. Okay, und 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, turn your attention to the board. Let's see wie fantastisch you are. Let's have a look at those answers. They're going to be revealed. Okay. Sehr gut. Give yourself a round of applause if you got all of them correct, or even just a few of those blanks, and you'll be have a chance to um, to practice that conversation again towards the end of our lesson today. I just want to make a little teaching moment out of that one word for giraffe. Um, Herr Hughes, can uh, Herr Davis, can you remember how we actually pronounced um, that word for giraffe in German? How we learned it last week? Was it giraffe? Giraffe, genau. So I learned, I taught you the word giraffe, okay? You will, might also hear, given the fact that we pronounce the word guten tag with the g sound, you might also hear giraffe. And like in English, where you have got lots of different accents and dialects, sometimes you'll hear the same words in German pronounced slightly differently depending on where you are from. For example, I was born in Austria, which is a country just next to Germany, south of Germany, and sometimes around the country you'll hear in certain parts of it the word pronounced as giraffe, not giraffe. But the point is, you can still understand what I'm saying. So don't worry, as we've been saying before, about your pronunciation of each word each week, just do your best, and over time, you'll find that you'll be able to make yourself understood regardless of how you pronounce it. Alles klar? Sehr schön. Gut. Okay, let's have a look at our agenda for this week, then. What is on the agenda? So, Nummer eins. We've reconnected with our previous learning a little bit. You might have seen that sentence at the start, on the starter slide, for those of you who joined early enough. We're going to be looking back at our animals. But Nummer zwei, second item, we're going to describe Felix and Franzi's friends with some colours today. Farben. I want everyone in the classroom to go, ooh. Ja, genau, ooh. Dann, Nummer drei, we're going to become artists and paint, not literally, more metaphorically, <laughs> lots of different animals. Und dann, Nummer vier, we're going to play with the words again, interact as different animals, describe ourselves, and of course, our Kahoot quiz at the end. Alles klar? Everyone excited? Super! Okay, let's see what's in store for us this week then. <gasps> Wir haben eine Nachricht von Felix und Franzi. Once again, you've got the German on the left-hand side, Deutsch, und ein englischer Text, the English, on the right-hand side. 
I'm going to be reading out the German and you can follow along, listen and read the English at the same time. Hallo! Wir sind Felix und Franzi. Wir wohnen in einem Briefkasten. Das ist der gelbe Briefkasten. Das ist der gelbe Briefkasten. So for those eagle-eyed amongst you, you can see that the word gelbe means yellow. Und wir haben natürlich, warte mal, big reveal, Felix und Franzi. Yeah! So we're going to be describing Felix and Franzi's colourful friends today. Let's have a look and see what that looks like. Okay. Now, Felix, Francie, I'm going to leave you, but everyone, you'll be seeing them later on anyway. I'm going to give you the pronunciation help. And the thing with German sounds is, every time we say a sound, I'm going to give you an action. So again, I'm going to need a little bit of acting from you. You can choose to stand up or sit down for this. I would like you to go, ooh, just like we've had the word, the word choose, ooh. But at the same time, I want you to kind of do this with your hand, like a little wave. Ooh! Herr Davies, can you try for me, please? I can, yeah. Okay, how's this? Ooh! Yeah, now, super. Everyone, can you all go, ooh! Fantastic. So let's see if you can hear that sound in our new color for this particular animal. Okay, Herr Davies? Franzi, where is das? And I will say, Felix, das ist das grüne Krokodil. Das grüne Krokodil. Herr Davies, can you pronounce the colour and the animal for me, please? Grüne Krokodil. Genau, and grüne. everyone needs to action. <laughs> genau, so das grüne Krokodil. Everyone, alle zusammen, das grüne Krokodil. Fantastic. So remember the ooh sound has this action with it. Let's see our next sound. Okay. Dieses Mal, the AU sound in German is ow. And I want you to slap your right or your left arm and go ow. Herr Davies, can you try for me? Ow. Ow. Alle zusammen, all together. Ow. Don't hit each other. Only yourselves, please. <laughs> we don't want any injuries in my German class. Okay. So, let's have a look at our dialogue, just to put it into context. Herr Davies? Franzi, where is das? Felix, das ist der graue Elefant. Da, der graue Elefant. Herr Davies, can you try for me, please? Der graue Elefant. Genau, and all together, der graue Elephant. Fantastic. So remember the AU sound is the ow, the ow sound. Okay, let's have a look at our next sound. Noch, noch etwas. Okay, noch einmal. We have once again the ow sound, so we don't need to model that again. So just remember ow. You hit yourself on the right or the left arm. Let's see it in dialogue, which color we're going to be pronouncing this time. Franzi, where is das? Felix, das ist der braune Affe. Der braune Affe. Herr Davies? Der braune Affe. Genau, und alle zusammen, all together, der braune Affe. Wunderbar. So we've had the owl sound twice now with grau and braun. Graue. Braune. Now, just remember, can everyone see the E at the end of braune? We've had braune, graue, okay? And we've had the grüne. We're not going grüni, graui, brauni. Like we've had with our word freunde from last week, we have the uh sound at the end of our colours. Braune, graue, grüne. Okay, so we'll see that every time. Super. Let's see our next sound. I think this is going to be a new one. So we've once again got the ow sound. 
And now we've got the, I want you to put your finger next to your mouth and go, as if you were confused about something, go, eh, eh. You know, we had Davies when we were a bit confused on a Monday morning, not sure what we're doing with our day. We go, eh, can you try that for me? Eh. Uh, now, let's do it all together. Eh, sehr schön. Okay, let's see whether you can hear this sound in this particular colour we've got next. Franzi, where is das? Felix, das ist die braune und gelbe Giraffe. Die braune und gelbe Giraffe. Can you try that for me, please, Herr Davies? We'll give it a go. Go for die, it. Die braune und gelbe Giraffe. Yeah, now, okay, alle zusammen, there are two colours here, so a bit more complex, but let's try it nice and slowly. Die braune und gelbe Giraffe, or Giraffe, whichever you prefer, okay? Die braune und gelbe Giraffe. Okay, let's see our final animal. Okay, we're going to hear all four of our sounds. We've got one more new one. We've had ow and air. Eh. And now I want you to pretend you've had a really brilliant, fantastic idea, an idea. And you've got that light bulb moment and you go, oh, oh. So you put your finger up and go, oh. Herr Davies, can you try that for me, please? Oh. Oh. Everyone, alle zusammen, all together. Oh. So we've had ow, eh, oh, ooh. Let's try it all together, all of you in your classrooms. Ow, eh, oh, ooh. Okay, so it means we're going to hear all four of those sounds in our colours for this last animal. Los geht's, here we go. Franzi, where is das? Felix, das ist der rote, gelbe, Blaue und grüne Papagei. Oof, there are a lot of sounds there. Let me do that one more time. Nochmal. Rote, gelbe, blaue und grüne Papagei. Herr Davies, are you feeling brav this morning? Let's go for it. Oh, right, okay, I'll give it a go. Der rote, gelbe, Blaue und grüne Papagei. Sehr schön. Okay, let's try it all together, alle zusammen. Und rote, gelbe, blaue und grüne Papagei. Okay, fantastic. Don't worry if you've not quite mastered everything. You're going to be seeing the colors lots of times this lesson. Okay, nextes. Was haben wir? So. I'm going to now say the colour. It's going to come up. So if I say, for example, if I say grau, I want you to then do the action that you hear from the sound. So grau, Herr Davies, which one would that be if I say grau? Is that the grey, the first one, top the left? Grey, okay. And which action would you do with it because of the sound that you hear? Grau. Grau, genau. Fantastic. So if I say... Let's see what the first colour is. Grau. Which action will you do? Genau. Grau. Hitting yourself on the arm. If I say... Braun. Which action will you do? Genau. Braun. If I say... Blau. Which action will you do? Get the hang of this now. Blau, genau. If I say gelb, which action will you do? Is it this one? Mm. Genau, gelb. Hmm, gelb, thinking, confused. If I say rot, which action will you do? I think it was this one. <laughs> I've seen this. My, yeah, my hand gets lost sometimes, doesn't it? I'm Sorry. going to have bruised arm. Okay, maybe, <laughs> maybe like gently tap rather than. <laughs> yes, 
No bruised stops, as I said, no injuries. Kind of Verletzung in my German lesson, please. Bitte. So rot would be genau. Rot. Fantastisch. Okay. And finally, if I say grün, that's our favorite one, I think we go grün. Sehr schön. Okay. So we're going to have those colors come up again. Let's see what the next stage of our lesson is. <gasps> Wir werden jetzt malen. Felix und Franzi, would you like to paint? Ja, wir werden malen with our Farben. Farbe being color in German, auf Deutsch, with our Farben. So let's see what our palette is. Wer sind, oh, oh nein, Felix und Franzi, the, all the colors are mixed up. They don't seem to match. Okay. Wir haben jetzt 30 Sekunden, 30 seconds. I want you to discuss with your partner, Dialog, Dialog, which colors go with which color splat. They all mixed up. Ich gebe euch 30 Sekunden. Off you go. Okay, und fünf, vier, drei, zwei, eins. Okay, stopp, 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 stopp. Let's see how well you did. Welche sind unsere Farben? Was sind die Lösungen? What are the answers? Let's see. Genau, so. Blaue, graue, braune, gelbe, rote und grüne Farben. Okay. Um, okay, we've had a really good question. Sehr gute Frage. He's wondering whether it might be an E on the end of each color and sometimes not. Really good question. Sehr gute Frage. It depends on where the color comes in the structure of the sentence. Okay, you're going to be seeing, I want you to use it with the E at the end of the color for the majority of this lesson, okay? So when we practice our dialogue at the end, always remember the E at the end of our colors. Don't worry about whether, and if you forget it, it's also okay. That's, just, that's kein problem, no problem. Kein problem, right, Felix? Yeah, kein problem. Okay, so let's move on now. We're going to paint with our colors. Herr Davies, I'm going to enlist your help, Felix and Francie, gonna remove you for the moment. Okay, Herr Davies, would you like to be the crocodile or the elephant? Well, I'll try and look which one is easier. Um, no, I'll be the elephant, please. Okay, elephant, off you go. Hello, guten Morgen. Guten Tag. Ich bin der grau elephant. Und du? Ich bin das grüne Krokodil. Das ist super. Bis bald. Bis bald. Tschüss. Now, can anyone see, I did mention this at the end, at the start of this lesson, where you can see the oo sound in another word on this board. Like we have in grüne. Which word on the board has the grü sound in it? Herr Davies, can you see it? Or oh, is it right at the bottom there in choose? Genau, super, choose. Okay, so grüne, choose. Exactly, it has the same sound pattern. Super gemacht. Okay, now I said we were going to be lots of colourful Freunde. So let's try to use a bit more creativity, a bit more creativity and imagination. Let's see what I'm talking about here. Oh, remember, I was going to be very excited about lots of colors. Ooh. So let's see which colors we've got this time. Herr Davies, do you want to stick with your elephant role or do you want to be the crocodile this time? This is. Oh, I'll, I'll switch. I'll switch and be the crocodile. Okay. This time, then. Fantastic. Ich bin Elefant, du bist Krokodil. Hallo. Guten Morgen. Guten Tag. Ich bin der rote Elefant. Und du? Ich bin das blaue 
und gelbe Krokodil. Das ist super. Bis bald. Bis bald. Tschüss. Fantastisch. Okay. So you can see we've gone slightly more imaginative with our colors. And we and actually red elephants do in fact exist. I was not making that up, but for the purposes of this lesson, you can make your animals any colors you want. And here we have rote elephant, and then we have a multicolored crocodile, blauer und gelbe Krokodil. Okay, so I'm going to give you now the opportunity to be really creative, all of you children out there. Let's see what I'm talking about. What is our exercise? Was machen wir? So, ihr habt zwei Minuten. You've got your list of croc uh, list of your animals there and your list of colors. And you'll see that I've included the word und at the end because you can use und to link multiple colors together. So, can you all stand up and pair yourselves up or you can go in a group of three. And I want you to pretend that you're throwing a color all over yourselves, almost like a big bucket and you douse yourself in a color, pretend to be an animal, and then enter into a dialogue with another person as a multicolored animal. You could even challenge yourselves and give one another colors, okay, and describe other people as opposed to yourselves. So instead of saying, ich bin, as I am, you would say, das ist, that is, okay? Just try. Remember, it doesn't matter if you're getting it slightly modelled. It's all about having a go. Isn't that right, Herr Davies? Okay, fantastic. Zwei Minuten. Partner up as many different animals as you'd like. Lots of colours. Los geht's. Okay, fünf, vier, drei, zwei, eins. Sehr schön. Okay, I'm sure I've had a plethora, lots of different animals coming across through our classrooms, talking to each other. I wonder how many different colors people manage to fit into their description. But it's eine Farbe, one color. Zwei Farbe, two colors, drei, vier, fünf. Maybe you got all six in there. Who knows? I'd be what I'd be very interested to see which kind of multicolored zoos we had crawling around our classrooms this morning. So we've had plenty of practice. You know what's coming next? Was haben wir? Ooh, drum roll. Okay, I couldn't move on to our quiz without just showing you what a fantastic effort we've been making these last three weeks. Because just look at the amount of German that we've been learning over the last three weeks. Okay, so I think this deserves a round of applause and kind of spy fire. Pat yourselves on the back. Fantastic. 
we will be having a chance next week to have a mega quiz okay about all the different vocabulary you've learned over the last three or four weeks together but this time i want you to put your thinking caps on and really focus on the animals and the colors that we've been learning so i'm going to hand over to herr davies who's going to now introduce our next slide which is of course <gasps> spielen wir spielen let's see how well you do on our kahoot quiz yeah i'm starting to think that a skull should be sponsored by kahoot i think i might have to send them an email uh, <laughs> to see if that's possible uh, for this stage. <laughs> yes <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So to today's quiz will be focusing as you mentioned on the colors that we learned today but also on the animals that you would have learned from last week so it's a bit of a combination so we'll share the screen now. I'm sure Frau Richards or Siwan, our colleague, is sharing a screen as we speak. Thank you, Frau Richards. And here we are then. You know the drill by now, I'm sure. You can visit the website kahoot.it or and use the game pin, so 2386436, or use the QR code, and we can all already see the nicknames are, are flying in. We still because we surpassed 500 last time, didn't we? Fim I think so. I think yeah. so. Yeah, that's it's quite interesting fantastic. to see as well if we have individuals playing out on their own devices, or are you playing in partners? Are you mm. playing as a whole class? Possibly. If you do want to show us, please send us a picture on uh, X or Facebook or whichever social media platform you use, so that we can keep an eye on what you've been getting up to. And also, seeing as last uh, next week is the last session. If you would like to send us some clips of uh, yourselves or if teachers would like to send clips of pupils having a conversation with each other using the vocabulary and patterns that we've learned so far during the first three lessons, please do so so that we can uh, show them at the beginning of the next lesson as our stars of the week. Oh, and we've well, got Fraulein Dresden, yes. you've got it. I thought Felix, Felix was actually we were having a conversation, a dialogue earlier, and he was telling me that he's not quite made it to inside all of the classrooms that we've had joining us on these sessions. So he just really loved to see anyone who's practicing, really so super, super Deutsch. Maybe you're, you could record a video having a conversation as a multicolored animal. He's super, super neugierig. He's very curious. So... I don't know if you want to make Felix or indeed Francie happy, but Felix and I were personally having that conversation, really. So Felix, hopefully we we can we've got something to show for for that plea. Absolutely. So if you'd like to be as creative po as possible and make those animals as multicolored as you like, uh, send us the clip so that Felix and Francie can see what you've been getting up to, as well as Fraulein Dresden, of course. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Goes without saying. <laughs> <laughs> We're approaching the 500 mark now, Fraulein Dresden. We'll give everyone just another 30 seconds, maybe, just to get yeah, into the quiz. Yeah, sure. mm -hmm. Again, don't worry too much if you don't register in time. We'll be sharing the quiz again after the session, as usual. There will also be the the worksheet posted in the files in the team uh, as well as the one with the qr code so that you know exactly where to go if you'd like to strengthen and reinforce today's learning in any way during the week and teachers don't be shy as well remember if you'd like to tell us how you're incorporating the new language and vocabulary into your weekly lessons you're allowed to send us a picture or a video or maybe just send us an email if you like uh, and let us know how you've been getting on right then so we have crossed 500 now we will press the start button and as i say the join details should still be visible at the bottom of the screen but here we go then for the knee the first question during the third session of our german lessons drei zwei eins and the first question is what is this color in german grün or rot So we've got the versions without the E at the end this time, uh, Fräulein Dresden. Yep. So just to clarify, that's what you would see if you didn't have, if you were saying this is green without a, something you're describing, you would see it without the E. Okay. But remember, we're using it predominantly with the E to describe grüne, rote. There we are. And right then, and 485 of you did recognise that was grün. So we'll yeah, move sure. on and we'll find out who's ahead at the moment and the melodic, melodic unicorn i'm never sure how anyone gets a thousand points they must 
click the button as soon as it appears. That is uh, very impressive. Right then, we'll move on. Question two. What is this colour in German? Beethur Llewhun and Almineg. Grau or blau? Which action would you do for both of those colours, Herr Davies? I believe it would be grau and blau. I switched arms yeah, to give true. my left arm a break there. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> true. And yes, that was blau. I was a bit worried about that one, actually, because uh, it could have been a bit ambiguous at the bottom of that picture of the sky, couldn't it? But I'm glad that 522 of you recognised that it was blau. Diolch yfawr iawn, da iawn. And the melodic unicorn continues to go without dropping any points. Very impressive. Move on to question three. And this is a multi-select two answers for this one. What are these colours in German? Beth yw'r llywiau hyn yn Almaeneg. And we've got blau, brown, rot, and gelb. Fantastic. Super good. Thank you. I'm never sure. I keep forgetting the rot one. No, see, I did that there. Rot. But well done. Oh, that's a, a high majority recognising that the giraffe is indeed brown und gelb. Do you know, it was, it's it's a dual processing thing that because the color the colors themselves were different options, weren't they? So you have to almost think, okay, even though I'm seeing the red color, it might not actually have the option for red on it. So sehr gut gemacht if you were basically able to operate your brain <laughs> that way on a Monday morning. <laughs> and we've got a new leader. We've got many new leaders on that board, according to the arrows on the right hand side. Will they remain there by the end of the quiz? We'll move mm -hmm. on. How would you describe this picture? Sits with a hint of scrivior clean hun. Das is das grune crocodile. Das is das gelbe crocodile. 500 dancers appearing before 10 seconds there. Das is das grune crocodile or das is das gelbe crocodile. Well done to 421 of you. Grune being green, of course. Dayan, we'll move on. The Dr. Possum re retains their place. Blue Sphinx, great bobcat. Very good. The fifth question, how would you describe this picture? Sits by the hint of your clean hun. Das ist der braune Affe or das ist der blaue Affe? Das ist das braune or blower. Well done to 436 who got that correct. Well done. We'll move on again. And we've got quite a challenging last question for Dr. Possum to be able to keep hold of their place okay. at the top of the leaderboard. How would you describe this picture? Sitz bydach chi'n disgrifio'r llun hwn. Guten Tag. Ich bin der rote, braune, gelbe und graue papagei. Or, guten Tag. Ich bin der rote, Blauer, gelber und grüner Papagei. If nothing else comes to these lessons, Herr Davies has really proven himself to be a model student. That is perfect pronunciation. Uh, well, I I, I want to say well done to everyone who's got the majority getting that one correct as well. Well done you, Diane. That was a tricky one. And I didn't have enough time there to get in all of the actions in the 20 seconds for all the different well, colours, Frau Lindres, who, then. Who, who could blame you? I gave you quite a <laughs> mouthful to pronounce there. And I also saw that there were answers pretty much coming in straight away. So yeah. I reckon just take a moment breathe because well done to those of you who got it sometimes it is about speed and we can be super impressive sometimes it's about really reading processing and understanding that was indeed rote red blauer gelber und grüner red blue yellow and green okay you sehr the schön feeling that, that some took a gamble there don't you but we'll they have did. a look at they our did. end of lesson leaderboard then let's see and in third place is the majestic alpaca in second it's the fast wolf and at the top our oh, dr wow. possum you kept your place in first well done and if these are yourselves please send us a message in the chat to let us know i also missed there was a funny wallaby in fourth but i missed who was fifth i'm very sorry but there we are for the quiz then we'll move back to the powerpoint slide to close 
and just reintroduce the challenges that you may well have been uh, getting familiar with by now. Yeah. What have we got on our challenge list this week, I wonder? Okay, we had partners for Fast Wolf, um, Schnelle Wolf, Fast Wolf, sehr schön gemacht. Oh, Dr. Possum, ah, Frau Hutchinson, ich, ich glaube, ihr habt eine sehr gute Klasse, a very good class, quite enthusiastic and hopefully not too many bruised arms as well. So, for next week, next Woche, Nummer 1, would like you to practice the Farben, the colours, with the actions for the different sounds, so things like grüne, gelbe, rote, and so on. Of course, we're going to make our Kahoot quiz available to help you reinforce the new vocabulary. And like I was saying before, we're going to throw, but not quite literally, one or more colours on someone and describe them as a colourful animal. So if I were to throw the rote colour, rote farbe, on myself, I might describe myself as der rote Affe, the red monkey. Or if I threw some, a colour on Herr Davies, for example, blau, I might describe him as um, der blauer Papagei, the blue <laughs> parrot, okay? On dann Nummer vier, we're going to have a worksheet available for you to practice both spoken and written language just to really reinforce it, okay? I can see that we've got more people coming on from Majestic Alpaca, sehr schön gemacht, gut gemacht. But remember, well done to those of you who really took your time. Sometimes it's about speed, sometimes it's about really just taking the time and processing it and understanding the vocabulary. So well Absolutely. done to all of you, sehr gut gemacht. And there we are then, I think. Uh, thank you yeah. very much, Danke, Fraulein Dresden, That's for another really very standing, enjoyable yeah. lesson. Well, of course, we need to all stand up and do our goodbye song this time. So we'll be hearing it with the lyrics. So, alle zusammen, steh auf. And I'm going to, of course, get Felix and Franzi involved. They'll be making a special appearance as puppets this time around. So how can I forget them? One second, and a Sekunde. Ooh, not very coordinated this morning. So here we go. <laughs> okay. Let's sing our goodbye song. Thank you. Tschüss, Felix. Tschüss, Franzi. Tschüss, Freunde. Auf Wiedersehen. Bis bald. Tschüss, Felix. Tschüss, Franzi. Tschüss, Freunde. Auf Wiedersehen. Bis bald. Dankeschön. Hey, okay, sehr gut gemacht. Fantastische Arbeit. And see you all next Woche, next week for our final lesson. Tschüss. Dankeschön. Tschüss. Bis bald. Tschüss. Tschüssi.